NBA Live series, for better or worse, is reminiscent of the Boston Celtics. Once great before its inevitable decline, the franchise has now been in a rebuilding phase for the last five years. The developers can only hope that the changes will eventually lead it back to greatness, like the Celtics during the 2007-2008 season. Will this finally be the year that NBA Live posterizes the competition? Yes! Core game modes have returned from NBA Live 08, with the Dynasty mode once again front and center, though largely unchanged from earlier versions. Fans of NHL 09 will welcome the Be A Pro mode, which involves guiding a single athlete through each game. Achieving this goal amounts to building a horizontal meter with strong play. You're rewarded with positive points for every basket, rebound, assist, and so forth. Missed shots, turnovers, and other mistakes will cause the meter to turn red. It appears that the mode was tossed in at the 11th hour, as there are no clear goals to achieve or moves to perform before each game. And you play it one game at a time, so there's very little impetus to return. The NBA Academy isn't a play mode per se, but rather a large training facility customized with your favorite team's colors and logos. You can practice your moves or run 5-on-5 five -five scrimmages, but most will want to complete the fun mini-games that have you trying to earn a set number of points to advance to the next level. These same mini-games can also be used to improve your players in the Dynasty mode. Coming to you live from the FIBA World Championships Arena. The FIBA World Championship is a single elimination tournament with custom rules and a choice of 24 international teams. The problem is that the teams are largely unbalanced, so those People wanting to play as the U.S. will dominate the competition. Do. Online, you can play single games or play through leagues complete with drafts, trades, and eventually the playoffs. Ten different players on ten different consoles can get in on the action, making it about as close to a real pickup game as you can get. NBA Live 09 has finally reached a competitive state where the list of modes is concerned, but not all of them are well implemented. That's, that's a careless mistake there. <laughs> Gameplay has improved over NBA Live 08, as it's very easy to guide your team up and down the hardwood. The majority of moves are intuitive, so you can manage your offense or defense without first having to study the instruction manual. Lockdown defense is now automatic, which means you simply have to move your defender next to the man you want covered. Pick and rolls are surprisingly fun, allowing you to direct how screens are handled with the right analog stick. Running specific plays is also easy with the on-the-fly play calling menu, which activates on-screen visual cues to help you carry out the selected play. Like NBA 2K9, a key feature in NBA Live 09 is that players dynamically adjust to their real-world performances. Dubbed Player DNA, online updates in the form of rosters, player attributes, injuries, and more make sure that the players on the virtual court act like the real thing. A one-time use code is required to access a season's worth of NBA 365 data, which is designed to continuously modify individual ratings, hot streaks, and shooting preferences. Player DNA amounts to a strange color-coded bar with a list of percentages for isolation, post-up, cuts, off-ball screen, and so forth. You can also edit the DNA yourself. No matter who makes the tweaks, it's a nice feature that ensures that rosters will account for yearly surprises on both a player and team level. The solid post game from NBA Live 08 has returned, and overall, the 09 version has finally made enough strides so that it's not a total disaster to play. Even so, there are still lots of issues with players recognizing court position and various other annoying bugs that can spoil really tight games. What's immediately impressive about the presentation is how the colors pop off the screen. In an unusual design decision, the athletes in NBA Live 09 have a stylized, almost cartoon-like appearance, yet you'll be able to recognize your favorite team's players by sight alone. The courts are sharply detailed, and the crowd is diverse and active, even if the graphics engine can't quite handle it. Movements on the sidelines often appear slower than the on-court action. Instant replays are also a bit sluggish. Animations are smooth for the most part, but they lack the variety and lifelike motion found in NBA 2K9. Play-by-play -play commentary is once again handled by Marv Albert, who adds a sense of excitement to each game with his signature delivery. Brian, again! Yes! The problem is that both Albert and Steve Kerr seem to be working off the same script as in NBA Live 08. The atmosphere is otherwise strong, from the PA announcing to the cheerleaders and crowd noise. And he's finished the first rack with three. 
NBA Live 09 is still not quite ready to bang the boards with the best, but it's the most user-friendly hoops game on the market. The pick-up-and-play control scheme, vibrant visuals, and improved action will appeal to those who feel the NBA 2K series is too complicated. Many of the game's new features lack depth, and the frame rate also needs some work. Couple these issues with the same nagging bugs that have plagued the series for years now, and player DNA isn't nearly enough to get this series back to the championship game. You are a tough judge. <laughs>